All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, ES6, Mutate an Array Declared with Const. So if you're familiar, pardon me, unfamiliar with const, you can ch check out this challenge right here about the const keyword, right? There's also a video I made about that too. Uh, so the const declaration has many use cases in modern JavaScript. Some developers prefer to assign all their variables using const by default, unless they know they will need to reassign the value. Only in that case do they use let. But however, uh, it is important to understand that objects, including arrays and functions, assigned to a variable using const are still mutable. Using the const declaration only prevents reassignment of the variable identifier, right? So for example, we've got const s equals this array right here. Uh, when we change the array itself like this, it's not going to work because uh, that's just not what happens when you have a const right there. But when we change it using the... Uh, accessor syntax or whatever we, I forgot what this is called, like s at index two equals 45, it will change this seven, zero, one, two into 45, right? When we do the console.log. So to reiterate, this array right here will result in an error. Uh, after commenting out that line though, the console.log will display the value with the arrays five, six, and 45, all right? So as we can see, we can mutate the object uh, this array itself and the variable s will still point to the altered array 5, 6, and 45. Like all arrays, the array element in s, pardon me, the array elements in s are mutable. But because the const was used, we cannot use the variable identifier s to point to a different array using the assignment operator. All right. So an array is declared as const s572. What we're going to do is change the array to 257 using various element assignments. All right. So this one's pretty easy. All we got to do is come down here and say something like this. Uh, we'll say s at zero now equals uh, two. All right. And let's put the uh, semicolon there. Why not? And let's get this, copy it, drop it off one, two times, say two, whoops, or whatever. Two, one, and then this will be uh, seven. Actually, we don't even need to change the seven, do we? Five, seven, two, five, seven. Five, seven, two, two, five, seven. Yeah, we do. All right, two, five, and then seven like this. All right, so let's uh, run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to prevent object mutation, and we'll see you next time.